Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. Uh, you're probably wondering what this is. Well, I've done a little bit of off-camera work, and I've completed the zombie spawner. And I'll talk to you about this building in a minute. I've decided to go with uh, some stone bricks because I like the aesthetic. Uh, th this is functionally complete, but it's not... Uh, aesthetically complete. I was farming some pumpkins to make jack-o'-lanterns as you can see. I'm gonna give you a bit of tour. I have built the entire uh, exclusion zone, the perimeter, and uh, this will be, all four of these walls will eventually be filled with uh, chests to store all the items. I built a uh, aqueduct to take my zombies that'll be used in my iron collection. In fact, let's show you that. Here's my aqueduct. I come in, drop down, and follow this lovely L-shaped channel to get them to where I want them to be to drop 23 blocks and they rise up and drop 23 blocks <coughs> and I can collect their iron. In fact, let's go show you what I built. I have a water elevator. This is just temporary. Uh, it's eventually going to be replaced with better access. But I still have to build that. Um, you can stand anywhere in this uh, this uh, 17 by 17 stone brick perimeter and the zombies will spawn. As you can see, the zombie spawner is going and going and going. So this is what I call the caretaker's house. This is eventually uh, going to be a graveyard theme uh, decoration. So this is the caretaker's house. And I've already collected a few items. Some iron in my iron farm. Let's go show you how the ceremonial uh, uh, killing chamber works. <coughs> As you can see, here's the very edge of the perimeter. I've still got to build a way into this. That's uh, a project. So we go on in. They're all corralled. The only problem is the baby zombies don't get to go for the trip, but uh, that'll be fixed in 1.13 when I can get some soul sand from the wandering trader. But I can hit the zombies from here and dispatch them. Sometimes it's, uh, it takes a bit. I don't know why. But I, I've used glass and uh, smooth stone uh, half slabs to. Uh, prevent the, the zombies from getting at me, but uh, baby zombies still can. I use a button and a pressure plate, and my thorns armor takes care of them. And I got, well, I got potato and I got carrots. <coughs> That's how that works. So that's how the zombie spawner iron farm works. Eventually this will be replaced with hoppers that will feed into the storage system in the, uh, in the uh, 17 by 17 perimeter. So let's uh, go back on up. This deposit our loot that 
We didn't get too much of, but we did get some. Alrighty. I want to thank you so much for watching. This has been a little bit shorter episode. This is a conclusion to a one month series, four weeks that you've had to put up with me building the zombie spawner. So let's uh, move on to the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, send a friend request. Uh, if you feel so inclined and you liked what you see here, you can subscribe to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You get a producer credit. Uh, at the end of every episode, you get to see the videos one day early. I release my videos on Friday, so you'll get to see them Thursday. And you get to help me build and design things in my world. So if you want to help me decorate the zombie uh, spawner iron farm, subscribe to my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.